In this movie, I'm going to talk about some ideas I use for deciding on what colors to use in my e-learning projects. I work in uh, Adobe Illustrator. I create all my graphics and my backgrounds in Illustrator, and I do like my projects to be colorful, so I just have a few here to show you. Here's one. So you can see that I really do like to work with color. So a couple things that I've been using lately. I've been using Illustrator since 1988, but I've just recently started playing with the swatch libraries a little bit more, and I found a few that I really like. So if I go to Window, down to Swatch Libraries, I just recently started playing with the art history ones. I've never really even worked with them before. I'm in love with the Baroque palette. So if I bring that one up, and I'm just going to drag this on the bottom right to make it a little bit bigger so you can see the colors. It just has some beautiful colors in it. So that one and the Impressionist one are the two that I have had open the most lately. Those two I've been working with a lot. So a lot of the colors that you see in these projects that I have here came from those those uh, those two palettes. So I love the Baroque and the Impressionist, but there are lots of other ones under there. For example, I have worked with the skin tone ones before when I've done some illustrations. There's a neutral palette, there's a foods palette, lots of different ones. So you can go in here and get an idea of some colors that might work together. This would be one thing you could do to start exploring. As I said, this Baroque one, these colors are just absolutely divine to me and I've been using a lot of these in some of my different projects. So that's one thing. Um, another idea would be to use the color books, of course. So you can go under Window down to Swatch Libraries and go to Color Books and you can bring up the Pantone books so that you can go through. I, I usually use Solid Coated, but you can bring one up. You can actually make these a little bit larger if you want to see them a little bit bigger. You can type in the Find field and put in if you're looking for a certain number. So I can go over here and I can make these a little bit bigger so that I can actually see the colors if I want to pick from them that way. And as I I click on them they automatically get added to my swatches panel so that's another way that you can explore color and then my last one would be in a browser and that would be to use uh, Adobe um, color so it's color.adobe.com I'm just gonna go right up here and go to the um, I'm already signed in so this is kind of what it looks like when you come in you can mix your own colors which I really don't do too often, or you can go in and start exploring other themes. So what this is, Adobe Color CC, it's sets of five color swatches. Most of them were created by other people just like you and me, and people just add keywords to them to make it easy for you to search for things. So for example, if I click on Explore, and if I go in here and type in Dentistry, I'm just thinking of words off the top of my hand, uh, top of my head rather. Um, I usually come up with a lot of blues and browns in this category. So I actually, there were a couple here that I like. I actually like this one right here. So there, you know, you might find something here that you like, or you might want to go in and look for um, uh, nature. And here are a bunch of different panels, uh, sets of, of colors that you can use that have the nature keyword. I like this one down here. So anything that you like, you can use these. You can download them and use them in Adobe products. I actually built my entire website and branding for my company on one that I found in here that was called 1963 Travel Brochure. So I'm going to just search for 1963 Travel. And there it is. These colors I thought were really fun, and I used those to create my brand for my company. So let's say you like this and you want to download this one. Notice when I hover over it, I get some options here. I can click Download, and it's going to automatically download it as an ASE, which is Adobe Swatch Exchange file. Now I can go back to Illustrator, and I can go to my Swatches panel, and I can choose Open Swatch Library, and go down to Other Library, go out to where I had downloaded that, which is on my Downloads folder, grab it, and choose Open. And it opens that palette, and then I can go in here and grab this and just pull this right into my swatches. So now I have those colors that I can just use anytime I want. So that is just another way that I can uh, come up with my own colors. I use the um, Adobe Color CC. I use uh, the swatch libraries. I go through the color books. Those are just some of the ways that you can add and explore different colors in Adobe Illustrator.